what is up everybody i am officially a vlogger <laughs> okay no so i'm just totally winging this thing um i have always wanted to kind of document my journey as a bikini competitor i feel like we live just really weird lives and hopefully it will be some relatable content so if you are likewise a competitor you won't feel so alone um and also i just want to provide some uh, another platform where i can uh, share some tips, things that I learn. And uh, most importantly, I think it's important to give credit to Lauren Dannemiller, who is a an amazing vlogger, but a bikini pro, an IFBB bikini pro and a recent Olympian. And I have been following her journey through YouTube for several years now. And so she's actually inspired me to start recording um, my own. So it's year 2022. I have done two pro shows and I am in the midst of making my way back for round three. So follow along with me. It's going to be quite a journey and uh, we will make it back to that stage. With Come on, buddy. Go over here. Come on. I can't even see your face. It's just a silhouette. Okay, there it is. <laughs> so it was really nice. We got outside. We got some sunlight, some fresh air in the morning. Uh, according to my watch, we get around 2,400 steps, almost a mile. And that kind of helps me start my step goal in the morning just to get ahead. <clears throat> I always spend some time doing a gratitude journal and also reading something usually about mindset or habits, mostly mindset, just to get me started. So now Diego is eating his breakfast and TC is uh, making hours. So I'm going to finish getting ready and then we're going to have some food. All right, breakfast is done. I just made it to the gym, so I'm gonna start my upper body workout today. I usually start with walking around the indoor track here just to get warmed up since it is uh, a little bit colder in the winter. And I uh, usually like check my emails, all, all of my platforms of messages that I get just to keep up with everything. And then uh, I'll do some intentional work on releasing some uh, muscle tightness since I've had that injury with like this whole region um my neck and trap and um some tightness in my shoulder as well too so I'm um, just very intentional about warming that up 
getting those muscles and uh, the joints primed and ready to go. And then uh, we'll be hitting upper body today. So um, yeah, take a look. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain. The grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad light. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail. I took the red pill. I know life's short, so I wanna live real. But how's it supposed to feel? And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah bitch I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these things I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave them be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said finished my workout <clears throat> I feel pretty smoked right now so I am going to I brought protein powder with me so I'm gonna make a protein shake so I have something to eat um, I usually always bring my meal with me to the gym I am roughly like 20 minutes away but um, I spend a long time here both with like a warm-up and then training and now I'm gonna do some posing so I always try and make sure that I have something with me especially with um, my blood sugars are often unstable, so I always wanna make sure that I have something, uh, you know, and then there's the added benefit of getting in your nutrients with proper timing post-exercise. So let's do some posing and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. Another tip that I wanted to throw out is I will utilize 
play particular playlists for things that I'm working on within the sport. So if I am training in the gym, I utilize, I have a specific playlist um, with music that uh, helps me bring out the intensity. So things that gets me in a good mindset. Often it's songs that have you know, some type of verbiage of like not quitting or standing apart or um, some songs have dialogue in them from like speakers that talk about uh, just being set apart. And it's almost like having a trainer there or someone constantly there telling you like, you cannot quit or like stop making excuses. And um, it just puts me in a really good focus to bring the absolute best I can out of my out of me for my workouts. So um, I also have a separate playlist for posing where um, whatever characteristics I want to portray on stage or that I find natural that come out of my posing, I try and find music that matches that or helps me bring that out even more. So like definitely confidence uh, or sassiness, uh, whatever characteristics that you feel like, okay, my posing persona on stage is very bubbly or sexy or you know whatever it is find music to help match that because it will help you push the limit with that too um, it helps me get a little bit more comfortable and try new things and then the more that you repeat that um, pattern not just like the poses but like the um, cadence and the um, like transitions and the movements, your head position, your your hair, incorporating your hair, whatever. Um, especially in the IFBB when our routines are longer. So you wanna make sure that you are equipping yourself to be going into just like autopilot where you can know confidently that you can perform your routine um, and if you're a pro, holy cow, you, you gotta, you know, anybody, anybody has to like own it. You have to freaking own it. You're like there to be amazing. So, um, if you're like me and you struggle with confidence, you get really nervous. Um, I put myself in a situation where one, I'm a little bit uncomfortable because I'm tired from my workout and my legs are a little bit shaky, which is common for me on show day. I'm hungry, so that's common for me on show day too. So I kind of assimilate those things as much as possible. Um, <clears throat> but I also try and help give myself a little bit of an edge by using music that helps bring out those characteristics so I can marry those two together where I have the uncomfortableness that I'm getting comfortable in, um, but I'm also utilizing a source that will help me um, advance. So like get your, get your posing playlist. Um, Mine's called Pose Like a Pro on Spotify. Um, I'm continually adding to it, but uh, yeah, it helps. Okay, I need to go home and um, yeah, there's more things to do today. Hi, baby. Come here. <laughs> Come here. What do you have? Okay, so now that we bothered TC, 
we're going to take a look at our workspace or office. So I'll show you where I go for the remainder of the day to work. Um, so let's go. It's actually outside in the bar and they have this finished room that uh, TC's dad did a really good job on. So we um, have our coffee station here so we can caffeinate. And we also have our whiteboards to say organized. So this is like day by day. So like we can kind of map out what things we need to get done on what days, depending on like timelines. So we just, you know, Monday's cube is like check-ins and any other things that need to be taken care of on that specific day. We have another whiteboard with our yearly goals that are specific for like family, social, career, financial, spiritual fitness, um, so that we can keep that in front of us as well too. So we kind of like break it down into like big goals and then how we can achieve them on a daily and weekly basis. And then we also have this calendar, which um, I put all of my athletes shows, TC does the same thing, anytime we need to travel, uh, because coordinating that is crazy, especially after last year we had, uh, it was a lot. So we're trying to just stay organized so we can look forward and um, also not try not to have like too many overlapping events. Um, so there's that. And then like, this is my desk where I work. Ta-da. And then TC we put in the corner over here with all his post-it notes. And then Diego often naps right here. Um, but my favorite part is this wall where we have like all of our awards and medals. And I also really like that we do, so I keep like the lanyards from when I was coaching at team shows and I put the, uh, on the back, I'll actually write like what athletes I had there, their placements um yeah because i think these are i mean those those awards are great but i think these are worth celebrating too so um i just i like seeing my girls succeed and um it's exciting when we can get those lanyards and i can keep keep a little bit of a record to celebrate so um yeah so i've been to quite a few team shows i'm excited to go to more this year and then um i think that's it <laughs> I see you. How'd you do that? <laughs> You're working hard. Do you want to see what I'm reading? What's that, babe? The glue lab? Tell me. All about butts. Tell me. All about strong butts. Big butts. Yeah, I'm reading about progressive overload right now, though. Mm. Is that better? Yeah, you can cut it with camo. Oh, that's nice.
Diego. I don't know how he's gonna get up from there. Diego, what are you doing? Do you wanna go for a walk? Oh, shit. <laughs> Steady there. Steady there, big boy. <laughs>